Hi everyone, my name is Ying Zhichen. You can call me Tracy. I'm from Shanghai, China. I'm in program of baking and pastry arts management. This is the first semester I'm in Centennial College. My topic today is Xin Dynasty and uh, Wang Mang. From 88 to 8023, China had a very short dynasty called the Xin Dynasty. It was preceded by the Western Han Dynasty and followed by the Eastern Han Dynasty. As the dividing line between the two Han Dynasties, the Xin Dynasty is often ignored by people. But in fact, the only emperor of the Xin Dynasty, Wang Mang, was a very interesting figure. The Xin Dynasty is also a very interesting dynasty. Wang Mang was praised by the people of the country before he accepted the abdication of the Han Emperor and ascended the throne. He was almost an elected emperor. That's from Start 1, Wang Mang. Wang Mang was born in 45 BC during the Han Dynasty. He hails from the Wang family, a prominent family that held a significant influence within the Han government. His aunt, Wang Zhengjing, held the esteemed position of emp empress, while his uncle, Wang Fen, served as the Grand Sima, a role equivalent to commanding the armed force at the time. Despite his privileged family background, Wang, Wang Mang was known for being modesty, modest and polite. He displayed a deep knowledge of poetry and literature, maintained the strict moral principles, and was exceptional filial to his mother. Additionally, he showed great respect and care for his uncle, Grand Sima Wang Fen, particularly during times of the elder's severe illness. When Grand Sima Wang Fen was on his deathbed, he was deeply moved and he entrusted the care of Wang Mang to his sister Wang Zhengjun, who is the Empress Dowager. Later, Wang Mang leveraged the influence of his family and his favorable, favorable reputation to attain the position of Grand Sima. However, Within the next three years, a change in the throne occurred, leading to his aunt, Wang Zhengjun, losing her status as the Empress Dowager. The new Empress Dowager held a disfavorable view of Wang family, which compelled Wang Mang to step down from his role. Under significant pressure from his political opponent, opponents, he even forced his son to commit suicide. Later, his aunt Wang Zhengjun regained her authority and Wang Mang returned to the center of power again. Eventually, he took control of all power and succeeded in getting the Han Emperor to abdicate to him. His success enjoy, enjoyed a sub substantial public support Prior to ascending the throne, he, he was deeply admired by Confucian scholars across the nation. At the, time, at the same time, he granted land and titles to many struggling royal families and no, nobles. His image as a moral role model provided him with a strong foundation of public favor. As the first emperor in Chinese history to accept an abdication, one month's abdication process became the standard process for later generations of powerful officials to become emperors. His legacy even served as a national treasure during the Qing dynasty, warning future generations against emulating his actions. Part to Xin Dynasty and his policies. Wang Mang's new policies con constituted a significant political undertaking in Chinese history. Spanning from 980 to 23 AD, his aim was to institute a series of policy reforms in an 
effort to re-establish stability within the Western Han Dynasty. One, Wang Tian system. Two, currency reform. Three, many taxes. Four, abolition of serfdom. Five, state economic ad adjustment. The first one is Wang Tian system. Wang Meng implemented the Wang Tian system and uh, nation nationalized uh, all the land. The, the origin intention was to prevent powerful in individuals from acquiring land and causing small farmers to lose their land. Small farmers lose their land and became slaves. Neither the powerful nor the slaves had to pay taxes, and the national fiscal revenue was very small. Wang Meng wanted to solve this problem by making all land state-owned state and prohibiting land sales. The actual situation is that the powerful groups are very dissatisfied and they rebelled in various regions. Wang Tian system had to be abolished three years later. The second, uh, the the second is currency reform. Wang Meng especially liked to realize his ideals through Corn Age. He carried out four currency reforms, one of which issued 28 currencies. Each currency reform lasted three or four years before having to be reformed again. He caused massive inflation and the quality of the money he issued became increasingly, increasingly poor. The people's economic life has fallen into chaos and become increasingly difficult. The third is many taxes. One more invented various taxes and the craftsmen had to pay taxes in order to prevent the, in, the unemployed from being lazy. They also needed to pay sloth tax. One more established six specialties. One, salt, iron, currency, forestry, and fishery. All people engaged in these industries needed to pay taxes to the state. The fourth is state economic adjustment. One month set up tax officials to collect commercial taxes. At the same time, it was also decided that the government would set up in and sell the goods stockpiles, stockpiled by the government when market prices were high to stabilize prices. The government's intervention in prices is very advanced, but in the face of the chaotic monetary system of the new dynasty, uh, such efforts will only create more opportunities for those with power to enrich themselves. The fourth, uh, the fifth is abolition abolition of serfdom. One month's abolition of slavery was not no was not noble was not as noble as everyone thought. Faced with various taxes and the corrupt officials, the people had no choice but but to but to sell themselves and uh, become slaves to escape the heavy burden. One month wanted more to restore the status of these slaves who were dependent on the powerful and increased the country's tax revenue. His abolition reforms didn't, didn't mention how to improve the living conditions of slaves or var various guarantees for slaves. His abolition policy only didn't allow new slaves to be registered but the status of existing slaves didn't change. In brief, during a series of reforms in the Xin Dynasty, the general population faced severe hardships and uh, widespread rebellions erupted. Wang Man believed that his morality was superior and he would win when he sent troops to fight the rebels, but he was eventually killed by them in 23 AD leading to the downfall of the Xin dynasty. However, following one month's time, a recurring pattern emerged in Chinese history where Confucian scholars 
driven by their moral ideas of creating an earthly wood pair played a significant role. In China, it appeared that aspiring to help the disadvantaged and weak was considered a mark of a good statesman. Throughout Chinese history, few in intellectuals have explored the technical details of how the society and economic as complex system that are different from individuals should be designed and managed. Due to historical factors, China has often emphasized the moral character of its rulers, but has sometimes overlooked the fact that the entire society functions as a complex system. The effective operation of this system likely relies on factors beyond just the morality of the supreme ruler. This is my bibliography. Thank you for your watching.